Romans chapter 2. Author's note. Thanks to Bloody Tear 666 for helping me with the chapter. BTW Prep Stop Flaming Math Story. Okay? Exclamation mark. The next day I woke up in my bedroom. It was snowing and raining again, of course. I opened the door of my coffin and drank some blood from a bottle I had. My coffin was black, ebony, and inside it was hot pink velvet with black lace on the ends. So emo. Um, I got out of my coffin and took off my of my giant MCR t-shirt, which I used for pajamas. Instead, I put on a black leather dress, a pentagram necklace, combat boots, and black fishnets on. I put on four pairs of earrings in my pierced ears and put my hair in kind of a messy bun. My friend Willow, Anne, Raven, this is you, exclamation mark. She likes to use those a lot. Woke up and then grinned at me. She flipped her long waist length raven black hair with pink streaks and opened her forest green eyes. She put on her Marilyn Manson t-shirt with a black mini, fishnets, and pointy high-heeled boots. We found, we put on our makeup, black lipstick, white foundation, and black eyeliner. OMFG, I saw you talking to Draco Malafoy yesterday, she said excitedly. Yeah, so, I said blushing. Do you like Draco? She asked as we went out of the Slytherin common room and into the Great Hall. No, I so fucking don't, I shouted. Yeah, right, she exclaimed. Just then, Draco walked up to me. Of course he did. Mary Sue Land. Ooh. Hi, he said. Hi, I replied, blurredly. Guess what, he said. God, I have stimulating conversation. What, I asked. Well, Good Charlotte are having a concert in Hogsmeade, he told me. Oh my fucking god, exclamation mark, I screamed. I love GC. They are my favorite band, besides MCR. Well, do you want to go with me, he asked. I gasped. Okay, seriously? Come on. Shitty endings in this story, or what? Alright, let's go on to chapter Chapter 3. An author's note. Stop flaming the story preps, okay? Otherwise, thanks to the gothic people for the good reviews. Thanks again, Raven. Oh yeah, BTW, I don't own this or the lyrics for good shrala. On the night of the concert, I put on my black lace of boots with high heels. Underneath them were ripped red fishnets. Then I put on black leather mini dress with all this corset stuff on the back and front. I put on matching fishnets on my arms. I straightened my hair and made it look spiky. Okay. I felt a little depressed then, so I slit one of my wrists. Random much. I read a depressing book while I waited for it to stop bleeding, and I listened to some GC. I painted my nails black and put on tons of black eyeliner. Then I put on some black lipstick. Wow, black overkill. Not a good look on anybody. Except maybe... No, not anyone. Oh, Jack Sparrow. He can pull off black eyeliner really well. <laughs> Anyways, I digress. I didn't put on foundation because I was pale anyway. I drank some human blood, so I was ready to go to the concert. I went outside. Draco was waiting there in front of his flying car. Does everybody in the Wizarding World have a flying car? Sure, maybe. That was just wrong, but okay. He was wearing a simple plan t-shirt. They would play at the show, too. Baggy black skater pants, nail polish, and a little eyeliner. Author's note. A lot faux cool boys were it okay? Hi, Draco, I said in a depressed voice, yet she has an exclamation mark. 
Hi, Ebony, he said back. We walked into his flying black Mercedes Benz. The license plate said 666 and flew to the place where we up the concert. On the way, we listened excitedly to Good Charlotte and Marilyn Manson. We both smoked cigarettes and drugs. Because that's what I do when I go to a concert. I smoke cigarettes and drugs in my flying car. We went to the mosh pit at the front of the stage and jumped up and down as we listened to Good Charlotte. You come in cold, you're covered in blood, they're all so happy you've arrived, the doctor cuts your cord, hands you to your mom, she sets you free into this life, sang Joel. I don't know the lyrics to that song. Joel is so fucking hot, I said to Draco, pointing to him as he sung, filling the club with his amazing voice. Suddenly Draco looked sad. What's wrong? I asked as we moshed the music. Then I caught on. Hey, it's okay. I don't like him better than you, I said. Really? asked Draco sensitively as he put his arm around me, protect all protective. Draco is so out of character. He would not. Whatever. He's hot. You know, me. Really? I said. Besides, I don't even know Joel. And he's going out with Hillary fucking Duff. I hate that. I fucking hate that little bitch. I said disgustedly, thinking of her ugly blonde face. <sighs> the night went on really well, and I had a great time. So did Draco. After the concert, we drank some beer and asked Benji and Joel for their autographs and photos with them. We got GCT concert t-shirts. Okay, I'm sorry. Good Charlotte, My Chemical Romance, basically any muggle band would not perform at Halloween. <sighs> this is the worst Mary Sue that I've ever read, and I read a lot about Mary Sue's. Um, where was I? Draco and I crawled back into the Mercedes Benz, but Draco didn't go back to Hogwarts. Instead, he drove the car into dot 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 the per Forbidden Forest. Oh my God. Authors know. I said, stop flaming, okay? Ebony's name is Inavi, not Mary Sue, okay? Wow, she really likes the word okay. Draco is so in love with her that he is acting different. They knew each other before, okay? Draco, I shouted, what the fuck do you think you're doing? Draco didn't answer, but he stopped the flying car, and he walked out of it. I walked out of it, too, curiously. What the fucking hell, I asked angrily. Ebony, he asked. What? I snapped. Draco leaned in extra close, and I looked to his gothic red eyes. He was wearing colored contacts, which revealed so much depressing sorrow and evilness. And then, dot, 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 suddenly, just as I... Draco kissed me passionately. That sentence doesn't even make sense. Draco climbed on top of me and we started to make out keenly against the tree. He took of my top and I took of his clothes. I even took of my bra. Then he put his thingy to my you know what. Oh my god. And we did it for the first time. Oh, romantic. In a forest. Yeah, okay. Oh, 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 I screamed. I was beginning to get an orgasm. We started to kiss everywhere, and my pale body became warm. And then, dot, dot, dot. What the hell are you doing, motherfuckers? It was, dot, dot, dot. Dumbledore, exclamation mark. Authors know. Oh, it's chapter five. Sorry. Stop flaming! Exclamation mark. If you flam, it means you're a prep or a poser. The only resin Dumbledore's war is because he had a he 
idiot. Okay, and on top of that, he was mad at them for having sex with two exes. P.S. I'm not updating until um, I get five good reviews. Dumbledore made and Draco and I follow him. He kept shouting at us angrily. You ludicrous fools, he shouted. I started to cry tears of blood down my pallid face. Draco comforted me. When we went back to the castle, Dumbledore took us to Professor Snape and Professor McGonagall, who were both looking very angry. They were having sexual intercourse in the Forbidden Forest, he yelled in a furious voice. Why did you do such a thing, you mediocre dunces? <laughs> oh, good insults, asked Professor McG McGonagall. How dare you, demanded Professor Snape, and then Draco shrieked, Because I love her! Everyone was quiet. Dumbledore and Professor McGonagall still looked mad, but Professor Snape said, Fine, very well, you may go up to your rooms. Yeah, because my teachers totally never disciplined me for stuff like that. Draco and I went upstairs while the teachers glared at us. Are you okay, Ebony? Draco asked me gently. Yeah, I guess I lied. I went to the girls' dorm and brushed my teeth and my hair and changed into, here's another description, a low-cut black floor-length dress with red lace all around it and black high heels. These are her pajamas, because I wear heels to bed all the time. When I came out, dot, 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 Draco was standing in front of the bathroom started to sing. I just want to live by good Charlotte. I was so flattered, even though he wasn't supposed to be there. We hugged and kissed. After that, we said goodnight and he reluctantly